Hello, everyone, and welcome to GreenBiz Studio. My name is Jim Giles, and I'm Vice President for Net Zero here at GreenBiz Group. And I'm delighted to be joined by Diego Sayers Gill, who is the founder and CEO of Prashama. Hi, Diego. Hi, Jim. Good to see you. Yeah, great to see you. So Diego is a good friend of GreenBiz. We've been following his work for several years. But Diego, for, for people in the audience who are new to what you do, tell me a little bit about the work you do at Prashama. Sure. Uh, thank you for having me. And Pachama is a technology platform that has the mission of helping scale the restoration and conservation of nature as a solution to climate change. And the way we do it is by bringing the latest technologies in remote sensing, satellite images, and artificial intelligence to analyze all that data in order to be able to verify and monitor the carbon that is being sequestered by projects that do reforestation or forest conservation. And then we connect those amazing projects from around the world with corporations that are seeking to reach net zero by investing in high quality, high integrity projects that they can report with a lot of data and transparency. So let me just dig into the quality issue that you raised there. So when I talk to people in sustainability teams who hold budgets for carbon offsets, probably the number one issue that they'll raise is this issue around quality. And they'll want to know, like, how, how can they know that they're investing in offsets that deliver real climate benefits? So let's just take the tech part of it for a moment. Like, how can the technology that you're working on help raise our confidence in these offsets? Yes, Absolutely. So there are several aspects of what we call quality in uh, carbon offsets. One of them is additionality. We have to make sure that this project wouldn't have happened without the funding by the carbon credits, right? So when it comes to avoided deforestation, you have to be able to see at what is the normal practice on the region, what is the rate of deforestation and whether the efforts that are being done to stop deforestation uh, are actually additional to what's going on in the region, right? And prior to satellite images, it was very difficult to do, right? But now we have historical satellite data going all the way to the 80s uh, of wide regions, and we can observe uh, an entire province, an entire state, and then an entire surrounding of a project and determine what is the baseline of expected deforestation. And the second thing that you need to be able to determine is what is the stock of carbon? What is the volume of carbon that is being sequestered? Whether it's reforestation that is removing new carbon or whether it's uh, avoided deforestation. And today, with a combination of satellite images, LIDAR, and artificial intelligence algorithms, you can predict with really good precision the volume of carbon that's being kept on the ground thanks to its efforts. And then, of course, quality is also positive social impacts, biodiversity impacts, making sure that the trees that are being planted are native species, that the local communities are involved. And the Internet also help us with that, because today uh, every single person in the world is getting access to smartphones and the Internet, even in the corners of the Amazon rainforest. And, and we are aiming to provide that transparency, that data, that engagement with the project so that it's not just checking a box, it's not just sending a check, but it's actually getting engaged in a project that is protecting nature and helping local communities. Yeah, and this sounds great. And just to pick up on uh, the word you used at the end there, transparency, because it seems like that captures a lot of what you're doing. And I'm hearing as well from a lot of other players in the carbon markets about the need for more transparency and more emerging services that can provide it. So just situate the work you're doing within this broader movement to increase transparency and maybe just finish off as well with a word of advice for the audience about how they can use this growing availability of more transparency to ensure that they're investing wisely. Exactly. You know, we believe that transparency uh, applies to different aspects of this world. In one hand, we need to see the projects. We need to see the data about the things that I was mentioning, right? The additionality, the permanence, the uh, leakage or no leakage of the project. And we need to be able to report that uh, data with transparency. 
but we also want transparency about what are the margins that the intermediaries uh, keep and how much money actually goes to the ground, right? So this is something that is very demanded if we are going to scale uh, carbon markets and nature-based solutions in a way that is beneficial for all. So my advice to, to the audience would be, um, well, first to go through the journey of net zero, you have to measure your footprint with clarity. Second, you have to enact measures to reduce your footprint, and then you can go and invest in solutions to remove carbon or keep carbon on the ground, but do make sure that whoever you partner with uh, gives you a lot of transparent data uh, about these projects so that then you can report because this is what is expected from corporations uh, reporting net zero. Um, so my advice is uh, demand transparency, demand quality, and then invest confidently in what we believe is the most impactful way to uh, compensate your footprint is investing in nature. We absolutely need to protect and restore forests and oceans during the next two decades. Great, thank you so much, Diego. It's been wonderful to watch the work you do evolve over this last few years. I know you're speaking at least at, at least one of our events this year, hopefully more. So I will be watching with interest what you have to say and following your work with interest as well. Thanks so much. I'm Jim Giles and so I'm much, joined Jim. today by Diego Sayers Gill, who is the CEO and co-founder at Bashama. Thanks, Diego. Thank you, Jim.